five, and five, four, three. <clears throat> What's going on, YouTube? And welcome to another lunch break brought to you by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. Well, guys, it is still chicken week all week long, guys. We've been bringing you our very best chicken recipes to make your summer all it can be. Without any further ado, I'm going to pass it over to my main man, your master chef, Greg Muller. What's good, everyone? Appreciate you joining us for another episode of Lunch Break presented by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. It's another beautiful day here in the worldwide headquarters of Rectech in beautiful Evans, Georgia. I mean, it finally stopped raining. I thought I was going to have to build an ark or a kayak because Monday and Tuesday, it was something fierce out there, John. Not going to lie. It was something crazy. It was. But we got the grass being cut. It's a beautiful, beautiful, I mean, partly cloudy, but blue skies everywhere. I hope there's blue skies where you are. But guys, do us a favor. Go ahead and smash that share button right now. Hit that red rectangle and uh, subscribe to the channel because we've got some amazing content coming your way because it is Chicken Week here at Rectech. Mm. We're trying to make some really good chicken wings. That's right. And who doesn't like like a sweet and sour, sticky, sesame, soy honey wing? That's, that's what I'm talking about. That sounds like. delicious, Chef Greg. Yeah. You know what, John? It will not suck. It will not but, suck. But, you know, what's good in your neck of the woods today? Everything is great, Chef Greg, but it's barbecue month, right? We're kicking it off. What's your favorite part about barbecue month? Uh, besides cooking on a red tech. Right. Okay. Um, brisket, man. I love uh, that's your brisket. Brisket's your thing? I mean, I can get kind of tired of pork butts. I can get kind of tired of ribs, but like a really good brisket. Never get tired of it. No. Okay. Because it's it. so versatile. You can do anything with it. Like brisket stroganoff, brisket ooh, tacos. Ooh. You can chop up that brisket for like brisket hash. Mm. If you've never made like scratch, like from scratch brisket hash for breakfast with a couple fried eggs over the top. You ain't living your best life. You that's are for sure. not living your best what life. What about that brisket ramen? That brisket ramen for breakfast did not suck today. <laughs> it was delicious. Okay? Resident fat kid. Um, I figured me and Chef John would throw down. We made some brisket ramen for breakfast. It was, it was excellent. For breast, it was yeah, excellent. I mean, some cabbage and mushrooms and a little smoked brisket in there. Yeah, buddy. Uh, ramen noodles never tasted so good. <laughs> we need to have a ramen noodle week, John. We should. We need to have a ramen noodle we week. We should. All right, well, let's get this party started so we can go ahead and brine some chicken wings. I've got uh, two quarts of of water and people say we never measure anything so sure but get on in here i'm going to measure something a third of a cup okay this is a half a third of a cup so it's really going to be a sixth of a cup of that jody's asian persuasion and i picked up a third of a cup because that's what was there so we're not going to add salt to this brine we're going to add soy sauce Ooh, okay so we're going to add a third of a cup of soy sauce this is not only going to give us that saltiness but it's also going to give us some good color okay We'll do like a sixth of a cup of hoisin sauce, which is like a fermented soy paste. Okay, kind of sweet, sour, good umami flavor there. Honey, and I figured we'd get the biggest bottle of honey that we can out of the Rectech Garden. So we're going to do a third of a cup of honey. Now, there are secrets to get all of the honey out. You can spray it with oil, wipe it down. I just use a little spoon that's, or a spatula. That's good. That's like, a good tip. You ain't gonna get all crazy with it, but scrape it out. There's a lot in there. Okay, so we're just gonna whisk this up, and that's our brine. Nice. Like, was that not the easiest thing ever? Super easy, Chef. Yeah. But before you put your raw chicken in here, you gotta do something. Okay, you gotta taste it. Okay, oh. it might not be salty enough. It might not be sweet enough. Okay, just taste it. Sure, if you want to taste, come on, Sherpa. <laughs> okay, there you go, Sherpa. That's for you, buddy. Down the hatch, Chef Greg. Bill Groves is out here. He What's says, up, Bill? That's not the way Justin Wilson would measure. Okay, I'm a no measure kind of guy, but like the Rectech family, not, they they get kind of mad when I don't measure <laughs> stuff. So for once, I think this might be a Rectech exclusive. We actually measured something. I love it. But speaking of exclusives, Ooh. new right now, jump over to rectech.com. Well, after the show, of course. Uh, check out the recipes tab. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the recipes tab. 
there is a suggestion button. You guys can enter in what you would like to see us cook, and we'll do it. That's right. I mean, I'm saying we are, like, listening to the people out yeah. there. Yeah, like, we really are. We're taking notes. I love it. Any suggestions they have, not necessarily about cooks, just kind of throw them in there. Anything. Let us know. We're here yeah. for you guys. That's right. Here for you guys. But chicken wings. A lot of questions around chicken wings. Okay. A lot of questions. And unless you are cooking the exact same chicken wing as me, your recipe might be a little bit longer or slower depending on the size. So these are just regular chicken wings I picked up at Publix. Okay. So you've got your drum, which are trash. Okay. Worst part of the chicken wing ever. Then wow. you've got the flat. Okay. The if you don't drum. eat just flats... I don't think we could be friends. Chef Greg, I love the drums. Okay, so I tell you what, John, we yeah. we are best friends. Yeah. I'll eat the flats, you eat the drums. Hey, let's see, it works. Okay. Ebony and ivory. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. Now, don't throw these away. You can save these, smoke them off, make some really good chicken stock, um, good flavor there. But I don't want to have to flip a thousand wings. And I don't eat the wingtip. I mean, I guess you could be like Jordan Johnson and like eat the skin off like mm, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. But that's not my thing. Yeah. Okay? So I cut them off, I save them for stock. And this way, I leave the flat and drum connected. So what I can do is, it's easier to flip. So we're going to 86 this spatula here, because we don't need it no more. And all we're doing is cut up these chicken wings. Now, we're going to let these marinate in the brine for a couple hours. You know, anything, you know, two hours, four hours, six hours, you're going to be fine. You don't need to, you know, brine for days on end. These are chicken wings, people, okay? You don't need to go crazy with it. Mm -mm. Now, if you wanted to amplify this, you can visit our friends at AtlantaBBQStore.com. Check out that LC's Hendrench. That's some good stuff right there. Okay, it is barbecue month. That is the secret to my barbecue uh, competition chicken. And I apologize if there's some lawnmower noise in the background. It is a lawn maintenance day here at Rectech. Sure enough is. But again, we're not going to throw these wing tips away. We're just going to use them. And... Uh, Again, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate it. Again, you can cut these wings up, you know, the night before you want to eat them. Put them in the fridge, maybe morning of. Put them in the brine. That way it's one less thing you got to do. Get that brine good and cold. Okay? And that's it. You're just going to, like, let those do that thing for, like, four or six hours. Chef John, you got a question for me? Yeah, Chef Greg. Now, if they wanted this recipe, what do they need to do? Jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address in there. We will email that to you. And if you want to make a suggestion, all you have to do is go to the recipes tab on the website, scroll to the bottom, put your suggestion in there, and uh, maybe we cook it and give you a shout out. Yeah, you never know. I'm not going to lie. But Chef John. Yes, sir. I got to say, I'm a happy guy right now. Yeah, tell me why. I asked for some green onions. Yeah. So Sherpa went in the fridge and gave me these two measly small <laughs> green onions not how Chef John rolls. No. He knows a thing or two about the greenery. I definitely do. This is the onion Chef John brings out of our <laughs> garden. Okay? This is the love Sherpa gives me. Yeah. And this is the girth that John brings to the table. I'm a girthy This guy. is a green onion. Like, fascinating. And yeah. if you don't believe me, see, there's still some dirt on the bottom. Yeah. You know it came just from the garden. I just pulled He did it. wipe it off and peel it, which I is did. nice. I did. But John, thank you. Yeah, no Like, problem, because these are going to make our chicken wings that much better. Yes, sir. Like, Sherpa, step your game up, son. <laughs> I like I like uh, caramelized green onions on uh, on these wings. It's gonna be good. But I've never in my life seen a green onion Me that either. big. Like, I thought you'd love that. Yeah, man. I, you know what, John? Always looking yeah, out. Yeah, I thought you'd like, love that. Like always looking out. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, kind of do one of these. Now, Chef Greg, while you're chopping up that green onion, can you give us any details about May twenty second Rec Tech Fest? I mean, you got to sign up for the newsletter because we will release all the information there at rectech.com. Um, yeah, it's going to be a blast. What Rectech Fest, it'll be from 10 to 6. We'll have some stuff for the kids to do. We'll have some stuff for the adults to do. We might have some cooking demonstrations. You know we're going to bring the food for you, mm -hmm. okay? You know, last year we did two 200-pound hogs. Yep. We cooked over 90 racks of ribs. Mm -hmm. No, no, sorry. It was over 200 racks of ribs and 90 pork butts. Mm -hmm. How many dogs, Chef Greg? Oh, dude, it was like 4,500 hot dogs. <laughs> but we're, we're going bigger this year, okay? It's Rectech 2021. We're That's going it. bigger. That's it. Um, so you guarantee there'll be more food. Let's make this little uh, super sticky, okay. like, sauce, drippy drench on the top. I like we'll it. add about a tablespoon of Jody's Asian Persuasion. We're going to add some soy sauce, about equal parts. I could bring out that measuring cup again, but it's dirty and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay? Honey. 
So we got equal parts, honey, and soy sauce. You're thinking, chef, that's gonna be salty as get out. No, that honey is gonna like offset it. Yes. Okay. And I know John likes a little spice. Mm hmm. Little sriracha. That's it. Now, Chef Greg, uh, yeah, buddy. in that uh, brine, is there any need for curing salt? No, 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 no. There's enough salt in there with the uh, the soy sauce that you don't need it. Um, and plus, that curing salt is just going to make things pink, and we don't need that either. But again, about um, you know two to four hours in there, that's it. That's all you need. So then we have our our glazy right here, okay? Ooh, that glaze looks Dude, fabulous. Dude, you, you got so it. Easy. You got it in your in your pantry. So easy. All right, so this is a half an hour show, and these are going to take longer than half an hour to cook. So, Sherp, come over here and let's recap what we got going on for the people. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have the RTB 3D bowls, I said, at 275 degrees. We've had these wings on here for about an hour. Okay? I have brushed them about halfway up. I'm going to increase the grill temp to 450 degrees. And now all we're going to do is just baste these wings oh, yeah. in that honey mixture and just keep cooking for another like 15, 20 minutes mm. until all of that sugar gets like super sticky, glazy, and delicious. And again, you could do this on the RT700 or that RT2500, okay? Cook at a lower temp for a little while just to kind of get some good flavor into the wings and then increase the temp to get them crispy. I love it. That's it. There's no need for like you know, zero to 400, which I've never done. People say they enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Lower temp for a little bit amount of time, then increase the temp. Now you want to be careful. I've got some pretty good sized wings here. Mm -hmm. If your wings are smaller, maybe it's not an hour or two at a lower temp. Okay. Maybe it's only 30 minutes or maybe you're completely lazy and you don't want to do any of that. You want to put your grill at 400 degrees. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. It's however you want to live your rectech lifestyle. That's right. Okay. Chef John can get these wings done at 420 degrees mm -hmm. in about an hour. That's right. Okay. Now, so, Chef Greg, what pellets are you burning today? Ooh, I mean, look behind me, buddy. We got those delicious Kingsford hickory pellets. Um, we were also using those hickory pellets last night on After Hours. If you didn't it missed out, Chef uh, uh, John, Jody, and myself making a delicious skirt steak street taco. But I can tell you right now, so that good. smells so good. So good. So good. Chef John, what you got, buddy? All right, this one's coming from uh, Corey Williams. Corey says that uh, he's doing some chicken wings on a 700 this yep. weekend. Any tips for ha helping him turn, helping them turn out crispy? Yeah, so make sure they're, they're good and dry before you put them on the grill. Um, I like to brine them for extra moisture, but dry them with a the towel. You can add a little oil in there. Um, and again, you want to have a good rub on there as well. That'll definitely help crisp them up. Um, temps above, you know, 325 degrees if you're going to go straight through. If you're going to go at a lower temp to give us some smoke, about 275 is the lowest you want to go. So go 275 for like an hour or two, depending on the size of the wings, and increase the temp until they're, uh, you know, they're good and crispy. Or you can smoke them on the RT700 at about 275, and then get that RTB3 bullseye at a higher temp. You're good to go. All right? These are Jordan Johnson approved. If you've ever seen that kid eat a chicken wing, you know it's disturbing. Okay? <laughs> Just throwing it out there. He's probably getting chicken wings for lunch today. Probably but the is. RTB 3 Bullseye, it's really a one-of-a-kind grill. Okay? It's the only direct fire pellet grill like it on the market. So if you, you know, really want to embrace more of like your traditional roots of grilling with a kettle-style grill, this is the grill for you. $3.99, free shipping, available all across the U.S. You don't want to miss out. This literally is the grill of the century. Just... Just calling it spade a spade. That's I true. I mean, You're weekday preaching. workhorse mm -hmm. all day long. Chef John, you got your beautiful black can in the air. Like, you got a question for me. Yeah, so we got a couple people out here, Andy Kraft and Thomas Quinn. Uh, they're asking you about the zero to 400 method. I know you haven't done it yet, but do you have any, like, take on it? How do you feel about it? Is it something that you would try? I mean, no. Because, I mean, I, I got my wing process down. I'm a 275 guy for, like, you know an hour or two, depending on the size of the wings. And then I just increase the temp of the wings until they're just right, okay? Bill so, Bro I'm sorry, Chef You're gonna get crazy with it. But like I said, you can't look at your screen and tell me these don't look delicious. Ooh, they look delicious. Okay, so why would I want to do something different? Okay, Sherpa's over here drooling like a fat kid. Yeah, he is. Because he knows what's good, because we got two batches of wings, which means He's going to cook the second batch. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Sherpa's going to town like a fat kid. All right, we'll switch up our uh, 
our glazes. Chef John, another good question? Yeah, this was coming from uh, Bill Groves. He says, up, uh, Chef Greg, have you ever smoked the wings first, then deep fried them? Ooh, now you're talking, buddy. That's actually really good as well. Um, you still want to be careful because you want to render out some of that fat in the skin. So if you smoke it at a really low temp, you're not going to purge the wing of that fat. So when you deep fry it, sometimes you get like a little gumminess to the skin. Um, but again, keep temps, you know, 275 for about an hour. Get some good flavor there and deep fry them. It's good stuff. Pretty sure, you know, um, the Rec Tech Grills expert, Jody Flanagan, yeah. is, is known for his smoke fried wings. Oh, yeah, he is. In addition to that, Daytona, what is this bug on my beer? <laughs> Sherpa, what is that? If you know what this is, comment down below. <laughs> Am I going to. Oh, my good lord. <laughs> Almost died. It tried to kill me. You saw it right here. That whatever that thing is, oh my goodness. dude, that thing is gnarly, man. Oh, that was so funny. Going to you. Y'all saw it live. Yeah. That was saw okay. It live. I'm not gonna lie. That was a little frightening. Okay, it had fangs. <laughs> Something was off on that thing. Time and temp on that bug. If you know time and temp, comment down below. Uh, let us know. That's oh. frightening, John. What you got for him, buddy? Uh, so they want to know: Are there going to be any uh, Black Mamba videos coming out soon? You got to follow us at uh, at a uh, Rectech underscore Black Mamba because we were in Kansas the other week. Okay, the Mamba w won't be making its way to Memphis next week, but you never know where it's going to go. Okay, it's beautiful outside. There's barbecue contests everywhere. South Carolina, you know, are you know lifted their mask uh, mandates, so we're able to go do more cool stuff. That's and right. I know Chef John is itching, itching to get out of here. Itching. Okay. To get and, out of uh, here. And maybe we take the Mamba you. to the boat ramp and we uh, go catch some fish. Hey, I'm, and I'm totally do that down catch with and cook that. Challenge. I'm totally down with I'm, that. I'm, I'm down with that too, John. <laughs> you got that beautiful boat. Let's go fishing. Now, Chef Greg, what is the internal temperature we're looking for on these wings? Um, I want to get them to about 200, okay? But look how nice and sticky they're getting, how oh nice and glazy gosh. they're getting. Golden brown and delicious. Oh, yeah. I mean, the soy sauce and the brine really is going to give some good color. And again, if you cut the flats off the drums, that's twice as many wings as you got to flip. I ain't down with that. Yeah, that's true. Okay? So we're going to smoke these. We will let them go for right about uh, 75 minutes. I don't want to say we put them on just before 11 o'clock. It was about 12.15 we turned the grill up to 4.50. And they're only going to take maybe 8 to 10 minutes of that higher temp just to crisp everything up. Yeah. And that's the beauty of cooking something fatty like a wing. Cook it at a, at a lower temp, right? Get some good flavor in there. Get some good color in there. Mm -hmm. But you're still hot enough to get some of that fat out of the skin. That's really what you want. And then increase it to get a good, you know, um, uh, texture to your wing. That's what you want. Yeah. Okay? It's that, that, that good uh, balance of texture and flavor right there. And it's like a Wiz Khalifa concert over here. Yeah, it as is. As all that sugar Woo. drips onto that heat deflector. Now, here's a good opportunity for some bullseye maintenance. The more hot and fast cooks you do with fatty things, I'll pick on burgers. I love a good burger. Okay? But there's a lot of fat in that meat, so that grease is going to splatter mm -hmm. about that grill. With the RTB 3D Bullseye, you do have some vents on the rear of that grill. Over time cooking, just like you see here, all of this uh, smoke, you're going to get some, some creosote and grease buildup in those vents. You know, you want to make sure you clean that because, again, if they have, uh, you know, filled up those vents, you're not getting air out of your grill, so obviously okay. you're not going to see the performance you would see in a grill with clean vents. Additionally, after this cook is done and after I put these chicken wings on the plate, the bottom of that heat deflector yeah. is going to be gross, mm -hmm. and that's okay. What am I going to do? Nothing. You heard that right. Nothing. But let that grill burn it off. Let it maybe go five, ten minutes. Cook all that sugar off. It might flare up. It might have a fire. Not a big deal. Keep the lid closed. That way for your next cook, it's good to go. I love it. Okay, so if right. you do a greasy cook, don't turn the grill off right away when you're done cooking. Let it go for five or ten minutes. Burn up all of that grease in there, and then you are set for the next cook. Chef Greg, what do you suggest, what tool do you suggest to clean those vents with? I mean, I've used, you know, tongs, I've used wooden skewers, I've used a flathead screwdriver. It really just kind of depends what you have handy. I mean, you can use the end of uh, your multi-tool, okay? Yeah, Rectech sells multi-tools. Yeah, you heard that right. It's like the Swiss Army knife of instant read thermometers. You can easily use the blade and kind of clear off the back of those vents. Why not? Check it out. It's on the accessories tab at rectech.com. Uh, this, John? this was coming from Tom Quinn. He What's up, Tom Quinn? How often do you need to clean the inside of the stack on the 700? Oh, man, you got plenty of time to worry about that. Um, I've actually, in the four years I've worked here, I've only done it once, and my grill was about a year and a half old, and I only did it when I was uh, trading my grill in for a new RT700. Okay. Okay? Right. And I was pretty surprised at how good that looked. So I'm going to go ahead and pile all these together because they're looking 
Man, they look delicious. Fire, okay? And I'm going to pile them in the middle right over that heat diffuser. And that way, I can kind of be a little less, a little more messy. I like it. And we're just going to continue to glaze these for just another couple minutes. And while Chef Greg is finishing glazing those wings up, I'm going to need you guys to hit that red rectangle. I'm going to give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it! Oh, but speaking of Tom Quinn, I love when our Academy alum, Carol and Tom, came here for Academy a couple months back. They're innovators right now, okay? They took a recipe we did right here, yeah. that pesto bruschetta chicken, and said, mm -hmm. you know what? We ain't eating that green stuff. <laughs> and what did they do? They modified that recipe to match their likes. I love they it. made that bruschetta chicken, and it was delicious. They just omitted the pesto, okay? So take what you see here, put your foot in it, okay? Maybe you're a pesto or not a pesto kind of person. Maybe you don't want spiciness, you don't want sriracha in your wings, that's cool, don't add it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're like, you know, one of them, uh, what do they call them, chili heads, and you want to add like something crazy hot in here, like some Carolina Reapers or ghost yeah. peppers, you do you. Okay, just do yourself a solid and tell somebody like myself, who's kind of a, like a, a weenie when it comes to spicy food, that, hey, don't eat that. You're going to melt your face off. Okay, that's, that's how we do around here. I love it. I love it. All right, we got a question from LJB. What's up, uh, LJB? LJB asks, should you clean the three vents on the 590? No, nah, you should have enough vents in the back of there. You're going to be fine. Again, those are very large openings, um, and if you've got a new RT590 uh, with more of the louver-style vents in the back, you're going to be fine. Again, general maintenance of the grill when you're emptying your fire pot of, of, of ash. Again, it takes a couple seconds to do that. When you change your foil, just general maintenance. Take a look at your grill. How are your vents looking? Okay, it's not something you need to do every time, but again, you know, you cook a lot. That's being a part of the Rectech lifestyle is I know you guys are out there cooking five, six, That's seven right. days a week, okay? If there was an eighth day a week, I know you'd be out there grilling too. I would, um, but just general grill maintenance, take a look at those things, you know, every couple cooks, and that way you can get the best out of your Rectech. God, these things are, I'm, John, I am like. Yeah, I know, they smell so good. I am we, drooling over here. Dennis White wants you to recap that glaze one more time. All right, so we did some equal parts soy sauce, honey, a little Jody's Asian persuasion. I did put a little sriracha in mine because I know me and Chef John, we like it hot. Yeah. But you can see the stickiness on this wings. Man. That soy sauce, again, it's salty for sure, but it's really offset by the, uh, the sugar on that honey. And the sugar on that honey is really what's going to get these wings good and glazed. Because you can't look at these and tell me they're not like looking, Man. looking delicious. But looking we're just going to add fabulous. a little more glaze and let it cook down, because these are almost done. A couple indicators. I can see the skin starting to rip right there, Sherpa. That skin starting to rip. I'm getting some juices pumping out of this grill. I'm sorry, out of these wings. And you know what, John? Let's just go ahead and do one of these. Yeah. Let's yes, let those sir. crisp up on there. Uh, absolutely. Just like that, leave it alone. Love I think it, Chef Greg. I think we're gonna leave that alone for about four more minutes, and then we're done. And so then Chef we're done. Greg, Bill Groves asked. What's up, Bill? He said, "You have trade-ins for people when they uh, come to upgrade their old grill." So, here's here's my my advice to you. Okay, no, we do not accept trade-ins at this time. Anything is possible in the future. But what you could do, Rectech is better than Dogecoin, okay? It doesn't lose any value, mm -mm. okay? Sure Go enough. ahead and put it up on uh, Craigslist. Yeah. Rectech, or I'm sorry, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Or maybe you've got a friend or a family member in your area that maybe can't afford a brand new Rectech. What you can do is sell it to them, yeah. okay? Take that money and put it towards a new Rectech. Works for me. Yeah, I love it. Okay. I give John all my old grills. That's right. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. That's right. That'd be, that'd be mean of me. Jeff Nichols is out here. He says, uh, Chef Greg, does beer can chicken actually do anything to the chicken? God, greatest question ever. We addressed this in our Rectech Staff Academy yesterday. So traditionally, you know, if you're cooking on a gas grill, you've got like a really gross, dry, flavorless environment you're cooking on. It's hot at the bottom. So when you put a chicken on a beer can, what happens? You've got legs down, breasts up. Well, so it's going to cook a little more evenly. For us here at Rectech, we recommend doing a spatchcock chicken, Ooh. which is removing the backbone, laying it flat. Why? Because you get legs out and breasts up, so you get um, great consistency to the skin. That's right. Plus, you essentially overcook your dark meat, your legs and thighs, to about 190, 195 degrees, and your breast meat is perfect at about 165 degrees. And again, we cook those average-sized chickens at 325 degrees, 
right about 90 minutes or so. Really depends on the size of your chicken. So if you're cooking like a four pound chicken, about 90-ish minutes. If you're cooking like a you know six to seven pound oven stuffer, it might take two hours. But internal temp is key. And you could also, if your skin's looking a little a little janky, mm -hmm. a little, I can't believe it's not butter. Give a little mist over the top and you'll be good to go. Oh my God, John, I am drooling yeah, right I now I know. because I can smell and taste how good these are. So good. So good. But we'll give a little sneak peek. Looking good. I think we need one more batch of glaze. What about you, John? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That looks absolutely delicious. Those onions are going to get crispy. And again, we made a mess at the bottom of the grill. No big deal. Just leave it on. Let it burn off. Now, Chef Greg. Yeah, buddy. Frank Newman's out here. What's up, Frank? And he's asking about the 700 yeah. and about a pellet dump. Now, will you explain to him why we don't put a pellet dump? Hey, Charlie, would you do me a favor and see if they're going to stop weed whacking a second or string trimming? I always say that wrong. You're good. They can right. hear you good. So the question was about a pellet dump, okay? First of all, anytime you compromise your pellet hopper, you are giving an opportunity for water and moisture to get in there, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to mess with clearing an auger jam, okay? That's not living the Rectech lifestyle. Again, that RT700 has 40 pounds of pellets. So if you're cooking every day, that's about 40 hours of cooking at 300 degrees. If you want to change pellets, that's fine. Either run your grill low if you're going to do a cook and you want to put some different pellets on the weekend. You can always use a red Solo cup and scoop it out. I've even seen folks out there use these little bucket head attachments that clamp onto the top of a, uh, a five-gallon bucket. But ultimately, you want nothing to do with compromising your pellets. Okay, So no dumps are necessary because, again, if there's an avenue for moisture to get in, it will. And the competition will not tell you that. Okay, Go on their forums, check it out, ask questions because I guarantee you there are people out there that have issues with pellet dumps and it's not worth the headache. Okay, Living the Rec Tech is all about easy, consistent, repeatable results. That's what you get with these grills. That's, that's right. what you get when you cook with us. And that's mm -hmm. what you get when you're part of the Rectech family. Mm -hmm. So just give us a call here, 706-922-0890. All those fantastic ladies and gentlemen upstairs have been through our academy, know how these grills work in and out. Why? Because they use them here at the office. And more importantly, each and every one of them own a grill at their house. It doesn't get any better than that. Chef John, yes, it's been 27 minutes. Yeah. You're killing it. It's a 30-minute show. It's a 30-minute show. Which means I want to get these off. That's right. So they can get cooled down so we can eat them because I don't want to burn my friend them because it's pizza night tonight at the house. Woo. And I'd like to taste All it. All right. Pizza All right. night. So, Sherpa, let's go ahead and get these pulled off. God, you can see how sticky and glazy these wings are. I mean, it don't oh, get man. any better than that right that there. Looks okay. looks These delicious, delicious. hoi yeah, sorry. Hoy, I made a new word. <laughs> Hoy. Hoy. Soy honey glazed wings. Those onions on there just got a little little glazy and caramelized. Yes. And again, Sherpa, you can see how gross the bottom of that grill is. It's a good thing. We're just going to let it burn up, okay? So all we do is let this grill keep cooking for about 8 to 10 minutes and then turn it off, and that way I'm good to go for the next cook. God. I mean... Wow. Those are some wings right there. You you done put your foot in that thing, Chef Greg. I mean, I know a thing or two about, you know, making some good food, John. Yeah, you do. So, and you can see, like, oh, man. Woo, child, please. Mm. A little more green mm. onion. Mm. Now, I'm not going to be an absolute savage and, uh, and dive into this right now because that's going to hurt. <laughs> okay? I'm not going to lie. But, John... We talked about it the other day. Bobby Flay? Yes. Come cook with us. Come, yeah, we'll okay? show you. We'll show you how it's done. I got, a, I got a couple squeeze bottles around here. Yeah. And Bobby Flay kind of goes, goes hard with squeeze bottles. Yeah, he does. So why not take a little hoisin Ooh, sauce yes. and maybe just a little sriracha, yeah, sriracha. over the top? Mm hmm. I feel better about myself right I'm now. I'm just saying, while we're calling people out, too, I'm going to go ahead better. and call Gordon Ramsay out, the guy who cooks brisket in the hey, oven. Hey, Gordo, Anytime Gordo, Gordo don't want none of this. Right, come and, Gordo come don't us. want none of this. No, he don't. He don't want none of this. All right, so for our next batch of chicken, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this down to 275 so Sherpa can make himself lunch because that's the I kind of it. people we're are in here. I'm going to prep lunch for Sherpa. He can cook it himself. Just kidding. I love the Sherpa. I love the Sherpa. Chef John, it has been 29 minutes. Yeah. 
and 45 seconds. Yeah, you It's been an official show. You've got a ton of people out here that said they are pulling chicken wings out of their freezer right now. They're going to be cooking them for dinner tonight. Guys, I suggest take pictures of that. Tag us in those pictures. We'll repost them. God, absolutely. Yeah. Tag us at, uh, at Rectech underscore official. Make sure you tag Chef John and myself. You can find me at Chef Greg Muller, at Chef John Pinnell. And go ahead and tag uh, Barbecue Dad Jody Flanagan in there, too, because he could use some love. John, you going to come try one of these wings with me? Oh, you know it for sure, my friend. God, he's going to be so hot, though. Like. It's all right. I'm a professional when it comes to eating hot wings. Oh, man. No, these are, like, really hot. Are they nuclear? Oh, yeah. Stupid hot. But, like, look how tender those are. So yeah. I, look I at that like, steam. I just like to pull the bone out of that part for me, you know? Well, and see, look at that. I did the same thing. Look how tender that wing is. So tender. Good Jesus. Cheers, my friend. That's hot. All right, I'll bite the bone off. That'd be so hot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so oh. good. <laughs> oh, Spicy. Man. Oh, good. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Mm. Oh, my God. That's a win, 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 Chef mm. Greg. You killed it, my I friend. Over my mouth. So good. Mm. Uh huh. When your bone comes out like that, you know it's a good wing. That's what she said. Officially, officially have no flesh on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Oh, like, uh, well, for pizza night. I got a layer of that honey right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Chef Greg, those are absolutely delicious, guys. I highly suggest y'all Well, we're not tasting wings. anything for the rest of the day. That's right. But again, to recap, we brined these chicken wings for about two hours. We did uh, two quarts of water. We did some, um, some soy sauce, some honey, a little Jody's Asian persuasion. We did put a little sriracha and a hoisin in there because that's what we like. Drained them off, hit it with a little Asian Persuasion 275 for about 75 minutes. Then we cranked it up. We glazed it with some honey, some soy sauce, yes. a little Asian Persuasion, a little sriracha. Again, live your best life. We took some onions out of the garden, had a lot of fun. But from all of us here at the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that red rectangle. Go ahead and share this video to your favorite social media platform for all your friends and family. And when you're cooking some wings tonight, go ahead and tag us in that as well right. at Rectech underscore official on Instagram because we'd love to see it. Mm -hmm. But guys, if you need anything, we're always here for you, okay? And again, check out that recipes tab on the website. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Put your suggestions in there. Brand new feature. We want to hear it from you guys. But from all of us here at the uh, Worldwide Headquarters, there's wings to eat. God bless you. God bless the United States. And we will see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Chicken and come smoky. get it when the really sun's going delicious. down. Live your life.